Oh, this looks like a good spot. I bought this stove off eBay. Um, the, the real reason was um, I wanted a bush box, but I can't afford a bush box, so like 50 quid. So I saw this for about 16, 17 quid. Uh, it's not as good quality, obviously, but I thought I'd show, show you it. Comes in this little case. Basically, it unravels like that. Now you get what you pay for, I guess. This one, the when I first opened it, these blue joints kept coming apart, and I keep having to click it back in. It's not very well put together, but there you go. So. So with this one, what you have to do is get these pegs. Put through the holes on the side. So you've got the pegs going through. Now, this ain't a stove, I think I'll bring with me if I do a wall cam because it does weigh a bit. And you rest that on top, not so, and you got this tray which slots in the bottom to the other side, so you got the tray in there to collect your ash and the pegs holding the grill up. It's not very secure, it's a bit sort of loose and flimsy, that's probably like the bad um, makings of the hinges here, but there are a lot of good things to it, it's quite big, you know, and it's cheap, they go for about 15 to 20 pounds. in basically now you can saw up little logs and chop them and you know the usual thing here I've got a natural fuel block thing stick that in there I'll probably stick a couple in
what I have for my lunch is hot dogs. Time to put the grill on. I assume it's in the old way. Plonk it on there. I would say this is my first time of using this. Lid. Christy. Now it is a little bit windy today, which is probably one reason why the wood's burning so quick. Because the wind's coming straight into this hole here. Obviously, yeah. so I'm constantly having to feed it. But one thing that's good with this door here is you can put long sticks in, have it just rest in there, just push it in when you need to. Just gotta keep feeding it. I think if you've got the wind coming in, it's probably a good idea to have bigger sticks cut prepared. Die down, just enjoy the nice heat from that. Take this fin off because that grill doesn't look very thick, doesn't look very strong. I don't know if that would end up warping, falling apart. I'll put that down to cool down. Hot dogs, hot dogs wrap. I've never heard that before. Now this is a little spork I made out of a um, pine branch. It's lasted quite well actually. You can see it's made from pine because you've got all these little dots in there. Like in there. As you see in pine wood. Something like that. No prices on the presentation. <laughs> uh, yeah. Lovely. Got the pegs on the side, which means you can raise that up. You could have it in the middle. So you've got the flames obviously closer, or um, you could put like a gas bottle in there, gas burner, or put it up, next one up, and you could uh, have your meths burner or whatever, but to be honest, I think if you go have it up that high with a little burner on there, it's, it's a bit of a waste because you've got all that, unless you keep it for later, to have your fire in just for something to watch or whatever. Now this is just the first time I've used this, I've bought it out of my own money and I'm giving my honest opinion on it. I can't rate it really, because this is the first time I've used it, but with this particular one, with the hinges coming apart, um, I did email the seller and he said he could refund me £3, which is a bit of a take the mic or whatever but you know you get what you pay for I guess I just want to try something obviously the fire has gone out but I want a coffee and I don't want to wait around to make a, a big enough fire in it to get the heat to the top so I go raise the platform Quite surprised that's cooled down quite quick. So I've got the second hole here, line it up with the hole at the back. Yes. Like I say, I probably wouldn't carry all this. It's a bit of a bulk. 
a bit of a weight. My, um, if I was doing it overnight, uh, but day camps. Yeah, we're using this again. You see, that's higher up now, but it's obviously more difficult to get to. This way, you put little twigs in there, I guess. Just drop them in on top. So let's start again. Sort of medium sized twigs like that. So look, they go in all right, don't they? Also, it's got these little handles here. And so, um, obviously, when it's cooled down, you could pick up and move it about. Or you might be able to get a stick, put it in, lift it up when it's hot. But, me personally, I, I wouldn't probably ever bother with the handles. It's heated up already. Cool, yeah. Definitely holds the heat and shoots out where you want it. Cheers. Take these pegs out. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. And you see a lot of the ash still in there at the bottom. Take that out. I'll close this up. Got a little thing there. And if you wanted to, you can transport that ash to a I don't know, like a muddy puddle or something to throw it in. So let's do that. And there you are. I think it's unbranded this one, it's got no name, but that's the, I don't know, fold up with gas stove. Um, I'll put a link down below to the company I got it from. But yeah, not bad. It's quite weighty, but if you want a sort of half decent sized fire in the summer on dry ground, I think that's quite safe. All packed away. That's where I had the hammock and the um, box stove thing down there. Taking all it out, leave no trace. Well, I hope that might have helped someone when I was looking for these stoves. I couldn't see many reviews on them. I won't really call it a review because that's the first time I've used it, but it might give you an idea to get one or not. Right, I'll see you next time then. Thank you for watching. Cheers. Bye.